get this music turned down a little bit let's see all sound there we go all right so we have philip first in chat hello philip oh here let's bring this down a little bit you need to see more the picture less of my mouse pad there we go there we go kimmy pat good morning good morning good morning 
Let's see, who else, who else, who else, who else? I'm glad you're feeling better, Pat. Watched Johanna's video earlier? Oh yeah, so did I. Thanks, Tyler, for the hype. I know that she was talking about, Johanna was talking about those, uh, I guess, super fans that already kind of knew about the um, the thing that was attached to it, like the Inky Art School. I was one of them. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, it's exciting. I still registered for it and everything because I don't want to miss out on anything, Johanna. Um, so today, I really want to try and focus, and honestly... I would love, <laughs> yeah, right, Pat? Yeah, Kimmy. Kitty, kitty, you can't be in the courts. I, okay, one second. The cat is literally wrapped up in the courts. I gotta get her out of here. One second. Come on, kitty. Out you go. Out you go. Come on. Don't you meow at me. You are in the courts, Missy. I can't have you in the courts. Last time you knocked over the camera. She already had breakfast, so mostly she's just getting into things. There we go. So the little owl and birds in Johanna's new book too. So the birds are for sure, let me grab the little, oh, you know what? I was using it out in the living room. Let me grab it one second. I have the booklet out there because that's where I was drawing the things with my iPad because I had to plug it in. Give me one second, let me grab it. Here we go, I got it. So the birds are in there. Um, the owl, I don't know if the owl is or not. Right now I only know what's in there as far as, you know, what I have for the... Hi Karen, welcome, I'm so glad. Yeah, uh, Pat, on her, um, if you get her inky emails, or she did a uh, Instagram story for you where you swipe up and then you register for the for the class because there's like only a certain amount I guess they can fit in the Facebook group. Um, so Philip, there's a page here. Here's the page with the birds. So it's got step by step for birds. So on that tree page that I drew, which is this one here, I don't have the wildflower stems one print it out but on the tree page that I did here for this bird here was this tutorial and then this bird here is this tutorial here um Pat you should be able to go to her website for that I assume um I know she's got links on her Instagram and stuff but I assume her website would take you right to it um, as far as the owl, like the owl that I have on mine, I actually just fashioned this owl out of one of the secret garden books. But you know what? I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know all that's in the book. But I'd be surprised if she didn't have some sort I mean, it's super thick, so she's got to have everything. I mean, I only have, what, seven, eight pages, something like that here, and it's got quite a bit. Um, thanks, Pat. Yeah, this was the second one. So I did this one first, which was the little video that I posted on Instagram. And then I did this one, and then, let me grab my iPad. I like the idea of adding in little doodles to about any drawing. Yeah, exactly, and the birds are so simple too. I mean, she just breaks it down really easily. Uh, okay, so here is, here are the wildflower stems. You see I have like a few you know, layers in here with all the different flowers. I know, right? I'm so excited. But yeah, that's the wire, wildflower stems one that I posted. And then I've been talking with a couple other people about my own drawings, just because these drawings have turned out so well. So I'm revisiting some of my older drawings and kind of cleaning them up on the iPad and everything. So I did this one yesterday. Just kind of you know a clean kind of simple simple look a lot of these drawings are based on photographs that I took so got this little bee here on this little kind of blooming dandelion here but 
I don't know. I kind of like the idea if I can rework a lot of these and put them in like eight and a half by 11 size. I'm debating about, because I don't necessarily need to get Publish, but I could maybe make like a book or PDFs available on like Etsy or something. You know what I mean? So this was the other one. This is probably one of my favorites This is the other one I reworked last night I Like bees <laughs> Although this is a queen yellow jacket not necessarily a bee but it's got Little flowers I mean, I have a bunch of them. I've just never done much with them. I need to rework a bunch of them because I drew them all initially in like 10 by 10 size, but it's not really practical if people are going to be printing them out, you know? So I want to redraw them all in eight and a half by 11 and rework them that way. I'm trying to see what else I have on here. Oh, okay. So... All right, so Kimmy... While you're here, I know that Marsh is not here either. Uh, so you all know that I posted this. I did Kelly's drawing and I turned it into a coloring page. Now, I uh, have everybody posted, I, I guess I didn't think about it. So Kelly had messaged me because somebody had asked her um, about being able to color her page. Um, but she was a little frustrated with the way it worked out because she had to use whiteout on some spots. So like over here was, you know, a little bumpy and anyway, she was just a little frustrated. So I offered to clean it up for her and turn it into a coloring page because people were wanting to color it. So I did, which is why I turned this into a coloring page. So I didn't want anybody to think because there were, you know, three other people that drew along that night. There was Kimmy, there was Nellie and they, there was Marsha. So I didn't want anybody to think that like, I didn't appreciate everybody else's drawings by any means. It was just, it happened to work out that she was, you know, wanting to turn hers into it and she was feeling, you know, a little frustrated with the picture. So I helped her out. So I did that. So what I also did, because then I thought, well, I did hers, maybe I should do the other ones. So what I've done, we're reworking A4 might be an idea as it is slightly smaller and that would work good for European. Yeah, because I can draw it in eight and a half by 11 and then I can crop it down to like have a slight border around the paper so that it can fit on anything. But my idea is I want to cover as much uh, surface area as possible. Uh, but anyway, so I just, I didn't want anybody to think that, you know, I was like singling Kelly's out, like hers was better than everybody else's. Cause that wasn't the case. It was just, she came to me and she was frustrated. I said, well, sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and fix it up. So anyway, if it was the case where Kimmy or Marsha or Nellie, uh, wanted theirs to be turned into a coloring page, I can also do that. So it wasn't when everybody, I, I guess I didn't think about it when I posted it as a PDF for everyone to download. Cause everybody started, you know, saying congratulations and an honor. And I was just like, oh no. I didn't mean to do that. So anyway, uh, for those of you like Nellie and Marsha that had drawn it that night, I can also turn those into color pages too. So I also didn't want to like jump the gun and step in any toes and be like, oh, I could clean up this line because I don't want you to any any in any way feel discouraged by your drawing. The only reason I did Kelly is just because she came to me and, and asked. So, so that's all. I just wanted to make sure that was out there because the more I thought about it, I was just like, Oh man, it wasn't like a lottery for, you know, who gets theirs turned into a coloring page, you know? <laughs> so anyway, Marsha and Nellie, also, if you rewatch this later, let me know if you want yours in a coloring page also, and I can, I can turn that and do it a PDF or anything. So, but I just wanted to, I wanted to clarify, I meant to, I meant to mention it on Friday when I know Marsha was here too, but then we had all those internet hiccups and I was just like, okay, okay, good, Kimmy. I just wanted to, wanted to clarify I mean, you guys know me well enough by now. I'm I'm never one to try and step on toes. So after I was thinking about it, I was just like, oh man, oh dear, did I make a mistake? <laughs> so anyway, well, I've done most of the tutorials on here. So I did that page with the wildflower stems. I was thinking it might be fun one of these nights to draw some birds in the, I watched the recording, it was fun to follow along with. Oh, I'm so glad, Karen, I'm so glad. Uh, so I did like, I'm thinking that it might be fun for us to do, um, take secret garden for those that have secret garden, maybe on another night. Oh my goodness, Pat. Thank you. Can we get, can everybody type exclamation point hype for Pat in chat for that 20? Oh my goodness, Pat. You are amazing. She says, just because you're awesome. Oh, Pat. 
Thank you so much. What a great way to start the day. Thank you so much, Pat. You're amazing. Guys always make my cheeks. If you could see my face, you'd see I'm smiling really big and my cheeks are all blushy. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. You're amazing. Uh, but I was thinking that it would be fun one of these days to take the secret garden page that is perfect for little birds and we could do the bird tutorial in here for anybody that has it. I should hopefully have some new pens showing up today. Aw, oh, thank you, Pat. Thank you so much. She says your work doesn't go unnoticed. Aw, oh, you all are so sweet. Uh, because not everybody has this page right now, but I was thinking it would be fun to uh, grab secret garden and... Um, Maybe do a bird tutorial in that one of these nights. The book's coming out soon. It is. And I'm super excited. So I did the tree one. I've been trying to do like every single page before the, the book comes out. You know, I did the seaweed and fish. Then we've done the spherical motif a couple times. I think the only thing left in here that I haven't done is this one. Well, no, you know, I haven't done these blooms yet. I haven't done these blooms. So I could do something with these blooms and then... The symmetry one with the hearts. You know, she just has swirls, but yeah. So there's a couple things in here I haven't done yet. I feel, I don't know, I really enjoy drawing. I don't do it as much, and it helps when she gives you the ideas for it. And like I said, I've got a number, a number of drawings here that I need to rework. Here, I'll just show you real quick. Because I've got a bunch of them. And some of them are like almost half finished ideas and could definitely use use some refining you know what i mean let me open it up here one second let's see open up email here okay so i know we're gonna get started with this here in just a second i just kind of want to get some of your some of your opinions okay so i have these in my dropbox here so i can keep better i am so like here, let's zoom in a little bit. So ones that I've reworked already. So this one here was the one that I reworked before. This is my bee one. This was like one of the first ones that I drew. I've got this kind of little beaver one. Anemone, I think, is too plain. It needs more to it because I think you'd get bored coloring that because a lot of it's the same. There's just a lot of little things I can add. I do really like the chicken one. Oh, there you go. It is. Yeah, yeah. I like this chicken one. So this one actually, a lot of these are based off of pictures that I've taken. And um, the chicken was actually one of my parents' chickens. And so I have a little picture of this little chick that's popping out from under this this hen's uh, little little wing there. So I've, I've always really liked that one. Um, I drew Christmas snail. I reworked him a couple times. Uh, this one, the cornucopia. It's got quite a bit to it. I think this one's pretty good. It's got a western meadow lark. Sounds good, Philip. And then, like this crab. I've colored this crab before. But I just feel like it needs more elements, you know? I feel like this one has potential for sure. Little, little hermit crab on his little, on his little sandcastle. I feel like there's a lot more I could add to this one. Like, okay, the ladybug I have since already reworked and I've added like mandala stuff on it and the ladybug's actually really cool now. Um, but you know, and then I have some like mythical stuff that I've done, like this is called a Parrington. Um, that's a phoenix. <laughs> if anybody has any issues with spiders, a spider, but again, it's just the spider. I feel like there should be more to the page, more elements, you know? So, cause like this, this was the yellow jacket initially. And then, you know, we turned it into the much bigger page. Like I said, a lot of these are based off of um, pictures that I've taken. And then this one here, these are a lot of the reworked pictures. I promise we'll get started on the drawing here in a second. So this was kind of like, I have a half idea here. I've got this giraffe that I sort of started. Um, Okay, here's the ladybug, since it's been reworked. The the little spots on her are a little bit more finite, and she's got this little mandala thing on her head. So I like the ladybug the way that it is. I would just need to refit it on a page. Um, here's the unicorn. 
with the mandala on it now. I actually reworked these. A lot of these ones were all in an art show, so that was kind of fun. I added a little bit more to this one. A little owl. I actually took that owl picture at a zoo. Oh, thanks, Kimmy. This one, I colored this one one year and put it on a uh, Christmas card. But anyway, I just have a bunch of different ideas and whatnot, and I know that they could all use a little sprucing up, especially if I'm going to do them for digital. But there's enough of them that if I can get them all up to the level that I want them to be, I feel like they could potentially be... Uh, my viewer count is off. Um, they could potentially be something, you know? So, I don't know. It's an idea. This bucket sketchbook is open and ready to go. There you go. There you go. Hmm. While I'm getting these pencils out, I saw this really cool idea. It was, you know, normally I don't pay much attention to like ads that pop up on Instagram or whatever. But I saw this ad and it, like, it's like 30 bucks or something. Apparently it goes to, uh, you know, help promoting the library. But the idea is it's $30, you get this sketchbook and you fill it in. And it goes into this library of these sketchbooks. And the library is based in New York. But what it is, is you like, you can, le you can uh, get, I guess like a, basically there's a way for you to see how many times people have looked at your sketchbook. And you just, you fill this whole sketchbook and then you send it back. And then it goes in this little sketchbook library and it's this whole library full of lots of little sketchbooks. Anyway, it's just, it's kind of a neat idea, something I saw and I was like, oh, okay, well that's not a terrible idea. I know. Okay, let's jump in here. We've already been live for 23 minutes. All I've done is chat away. So, got our coffee. We got our pencils. We've got our page. Let's jump in, okay? So let's see, looks like I've already colored some of these this color. So we're gonna grab, what color is that base color there? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Grab this one and this one. Definitely that yellow. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, cause I've, I've looked into trying to, you know, get a book published. The problem is this coloring book market is extremely saturated right now. And a lot of, unless you have something that's like just brilliantly unique, a lot of um, publishers aren't looking for a lot of new colorists right now. But I had posted in the Johanna Bassford Your Pages book, um, my Christmas, or not Christmas tree, the Johanna tree. And there was a woman who does like a lot of marketing stuff. And she invited me to her group that she does where it's just a lot of, you know, entrepreneurs and that kind of stuff. And she actually does sell her coloring pages, but she sells them in individual pages and, and books and everything. And it just got me, I thought about doing that before. I know Laura does that too. I'm just not, I mean, it's definitely not anything that's going to be highly lucrative, you know, it'd be on the side, but it's just like, I'm sitting on like, you know, 30, 40 drawings and that's all they're doing is just sitting there. When I did that year where I sent out um, newsletters, I gave a lot of them out as freebies and stuff. Not, not a ton. I mean, there was only, I think, 12 total. So I've still got a bunch that nobody's ever had access to before. So, yeah. I don't know. It's a thought. It's something to definitely consider. And I'd be lying if I said that that Johanna's, you know, how to draw book you know, hasn't re-sparked interest. But it, it it's interesting because she kind of re-sparked my interest with art in general because, you know, way back when, when she messaged me and asked me to do some coloring for her, for her, um, I, I colored in Secret Garden for her promo for her website when she was doing her rebranding. Good morning, Rochelle. Anyway, afterwards, as a thank you, she sent me this box of all this art supplies. And in it were a lot of these inking pens and everything. And I was just like, man, I have all these supplies now. I should do something with this. And so she, you know, got me back into drawing again. And I was actually able to, she critiqued for me my first couple of drawings, you know. She gave me some good advice, which I still, you know, remember quite a bit of it. So, I don't know. I feel like not to step into this this built potential already would be a waste. You know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna start with number five here, and what we're gonna work on are all of these kind of medium-sized leaves here, okay? I don't know, 
What do you all think? I mean, you're all colorists. What do you look for when choosing a book or a page to color? You'll be my marketing research, okay? I mean, definitely variety. You don't want to get bored with a page. And that was one of the things that Johanna told me is that when she was testing out, like, pages and stuff, her feedback was, you know, people want variety. They don't want to just color the same leaf 75 times. You know what I mean? That's when it gets boring. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go through and um, we are going to use this number five on all of the kind of medium leaves. I mean, cause I'm also definitely limited by what my drawing capabilities are. People are a big issue for me. I can't draw paint. Aw, thanks Kimmy. <laughs> That's the other thing too, is the nice thing is, is if I do decide to do this, I'm, I'm not going into this without an audience. You know, I'm not just going into it straight from nothing. You know what I mean? I've, you know, got, you got this community of wonderful, wonderful colorists here. So, and if you see down the subscriber count we just passed 7600 subscribers and as kimmy pointed out because i hadn't noticed yet we're like close to or every single one you showed i would color honestly oh thanks pat uh we are at like 300 or almost 300 we're at 300 um on the facebook group so the facebook group's got a pretty good growth on it too which is nice which i guess in any form saying that something has a good growth on it i realize i phrased that wrong Generally, having a growth on anything isn't a good thing. <laughs> Yay, Facebook, right? Oh, and then don't forget, too, we've got the Victorian Colorathon coming up uh, the weekend of the 20th through the 22nd. So mark that on your calendars. Everybody see Laura's uh, picture that she drew for the Victorian Colorathon? I think that's gonna look really cool. Hi Rose, welcome, welcome. We're just working on our little color and page here. Maybe do an animal flower theme book. Your animals are really cute. Oh, thanks, Annette. Yeah, I've got a few of them, like insects and animals, a few of them. That could be cute. And if anybody was looking closely on the list, you'll see that I actually have a title slash title page for it. I want to rework it too, because I want to make it to fit the eight and a half by 11. But um, yeah, I definitely have, I have a not official front page for it yet. I think I want to change it because I realized that as much as I love Johanna's stuff, I am way too influenced by it. And although it's different than hers, the style is a little bit too similar to her cover of her books. Cause I've got like the black and white around the outside and then the title in the middle. So I think I need to change that up a little bit. Um, just because <laughs> yeah, I'm super influenced by her work in case you can't tell. <laughs> Sounds good, Kimmy. And also, welcome, Annette. I don't know if I said hi to you or not, so hello. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the influence now too, especially with the book out here. Like it's, it's not difficult for me to get something that looks really similar to hers. In fact, I had a lot of people tell me that like when they first saw the fish one, they actually thought it was one of her pages at first. And I was just like, uh, <laughs> no. I'll take it as a compliment though. It means that I did her tutorial correctly. <laughs> All right, so that's it with number five. Good morning, Chai, welcome. I 
I also I like books that the detail is not so small I can't see it. I'm 60. Ah, there you go. What I really like sometimes is motivation phrases on a page with a cute drawing. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to use number 50. You know what? My phone is not on silent. Eating your breakfast? Sounds good. What are you having for breakfast, Chai? Oh no, my phone is on silent. We're good. Okay. My goal today is to finish this. French toast, hmm. Coffee is my breakfast, there you go. Yeah, I swung by the coffee shop this morning and I definitely didn't get um, a kolache and my coffee. <laughs> I get what they call is a uh, cinnamon delight, but I only have them put half the sugar and no vanilla in it. I was thinking for the streams where I, uh, especially with her book coming out, where we do like the how to draw, it would be really cool is offering a palette with the page. Oh, Annette, I didn't even think about that. Like not telling them how they should color it necessarily, but have the palette. Because I do have a bunch of like Prismacolor palettes that I made. I really like that, Annette. That's a good idea. Because I don't necessarily need to do pencil brand because they could, you know, then match it to whatever brand they have. I had coffee during the bus run. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I just left for a second. My bird wanted a raisin and banana. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Annette, that's a great idea. In fact, let me grab my sticky note. I can't hide to keep sticky notes on hand so that I can write down one to, you know, if something needs to change on the stream, but that would be a really good idea, Pat, or Annette. I like that. My pen's working. Here we go. Color palette with page. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. Thank you, Annette. See, and this is why I talk to you all. <laughs> you give me good insight. It would definitely make that unique because I don't think a lot of books give out color palettes, you know? So like maybe when they download, I think people are going to have a really mind, I think people are going to have to be really mindful of copyright when using Johanna's methods of the work, work they wish to, oh yes, most definitely then, most definitely, which is why, um, sometimes I get frustrated thinking of colors, oh I totally get that, yeah, which is why Lynn, like any time I've ever posted it, I make sure that I put on there, like it's super clear, like on this one, I wrote, uh, Joyce, I am using the Stedler Ergosoft color pencils, actually. Got my whole roll here. But yeah, these are the Stedler Ergosoft, the 36 set is what I'm using. Gosh, I wish I had the full set of Polychromos. <laughs> um, but when I, where did it go? Oh, here they are. So like at the top of this one, I made sure I put from the Johanna Bass for tutorial because it's not from her book. It's using the tutorial as a guideline. So like this one, I put drawn using the how to draw inky wonderlands. Same thing with here, drawn using Johanna Bass for it's how to draw inky wonderlands. So I made sure that like I'm putting it up at the top. And that's the, also the thing is I would never sell these. Like I've had people say they want to draw them. So I turn it into a PDF and, um, and, and then I just give them away for free. Cause I assume that that's okay. Cause I'm not making any profit off it. And pe people want to color them, you know, that's just fine. So I have Annette, I have the 24 set of Faber-Castells and then I've got a few singles that I bought here and there because I don't like that the 24 set doesn't really have any purple. And then I had a couple other colors that I wanted to try, but I've got the 24 set, but I definitely would love to get the full set someday. But it's not something you can really justify just 
getting. You know what I mean? Hi, Shannon! Welcome, welcome! Because I did, like I said, and, and, and it's it's tough too, especially like, because in the Johanna Basford Your Pages book, it's specifically Johanna stuff. And now it's going to start to get in a little bit of a gray area because people are going to be doing their own drawings. And it's it's inspired Johanna. It's from her book. And so I had my pages posted up there, but they ended up getting removed. Not because it was my drawings, but I guess because people were asking for to color it. Now, I didn't say, you know, oh, you have to go to the Facebook page to do it. You know, I would just say, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you, and then I sent it to them. But I guess that was considered promoting my own work. So, which which is fine. I mean, I, I, I get it. Uh, but anyway, I think, I, I think you're definitely right. I think there could potentially eventually be some copyright stuff. But you know what? Johanna's a smart lady, too. I bet you that her whole team, you know, discussed it and everything. And I think on some level, it's like, okay, well, yeah, people are going to be, you know, copying this. And I think as long as they're not, you know, redrawing her drawings exactly and trying, you know, to do it that way. But they've probably talked it over with their legal team. And I suppose there's only so much they can do to keep people from doing that sort of thing. Oh, I missed this one here. And we're using number 50, by the way. There we go. And our goal today is to finish this up. So, I mean, we're almost there. We've got leaves to do, and then we've got to kind of figure out how we want to color the background. And then, let's see, we've got number 10. And if anybody wants to color along with this too, this is available uh, for download as a PDF um, in our Facebook group. So this is number 10, and we're just going to fill in this last little tip of the leaf here. Hello, Kimmy! Same here, just trying to make fall break. Oh, right. Hi, Rita! I got the 24 poly to try and cannot make them work for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, Rita, I've been thinking about doing a stream with just the 24 polychromos that I have. Is that something that you would enjoy? And honestly, I think a big part of it is light layers. Maybe for whatever page we color next in the morning, I'll only use the just the 24 set of polychromos. That could be fun. What is her purpose for teaching us to draw like her? Well, I think it's kind of, you know, she's put out a number of, of coloring books, and I think a big part of it is she wants to share that artistic knowledge, because there's definitely a lot of joy that you can get from drawing. And I think that she's right on the fact that a lot of people just assume that they can't draw, that, um, that it's, that it's, that is too frustrating, that's too hard. And she wants everyone to be able to express themselves in that way. And, you know, I mean, I know that I enjoy it and I enjoy coloring. So it's something that, you know, I want to share with the world, which is why I do streaming. So I think she just wants to give everybody else a chance to experience that and, and learn it in a way that's, that's not frustrating. You know what I mean? Job offered free lessons online, I think 10 free lessons in how to draw. Now I cannot find it. Assume it was sent to everyone who's on her email list. Yeah, it should be, uh, Rochelle. It should also um, be on her website. I think she, she made a blog post about it. So just go to her website and poke around and I'm sure that you will uh, be able to find that. Okay, cool, Rita. Yeah, we'll just plan that for whatever we end up coloring next. Um, we'll go ahead and plan to use the, uh, the polychromos on it. Cause the other extras I have, let me see, what are the other colors that I have? Cause like I said, it was just a couple just because, oh, rub it on the microphone. Sorry about that. Pull out my boxes here. There were just, you know, some colors that I didn't have and I felt like the set, it just, it needed more, you know? So, cause I had like a 12 pack and then I bought some individually because I was also doing, there's some sort of Faber-Castell drawing contest or something like that. And I entered it. And so I, uh, I wanted to do it. Let's see, I have to leave already. I have to leave your post up, I'll watch later. Sounds good, Rita, sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. She put out a video this morning explaining why. If you go check that video out, you, if you get an explanation. She wants to share her talents. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Was that this morning? Did she put a new one out this morning? Or was that yesterday morning? It's on Instagram. I guess it wasn't on Instagram much this morning. Let's see. Now I feel like I missed something. Let's take a peek here. 
Oh yeah, that was yesterday. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Okay. Oh, on yeah, yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. I was afraid I missed something. I was like, wait, I missed another video. <laughs> so, like I said, I started out with the twelve set. Yes, YouTube. That's right, because I remember I peeked up on it and literally I saw it like less than a minute after it posted. I still need to get my other 40 Pablos I don't have. I may break down to half now and half later, so I have such a huge, huge expense, exactly. Hi, Nelly. Lurking and listening since I'm work. Sounds good, Nelly. Nelly, uh, I don't know if you were, uh, if you heard earlier, but I was mentioning about how I turned Kelly's into the coloring page and if, um, uh, if you are wanting me to do the same with yours just let me know uh yeah karen so i actually am i'm already a part of the group uh when she mentioned that there were a few super fans that might already know what's going on uh i was maybe one of them and there's there's a little handful of us that are already in the group and uh it's me hello <laughs> so so yeah i'm I, I'm there. I think it's going to be exciting. Okay, so extras that I have. Obviously, this purple one there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Phthalo, blue. Yes, I already have that. Ultramarine. Okay, this is one that isn't in the 24 set. Let's see. Burnt ochre. Yep, that one's in there. This one is in there. These are in there. Oh, this pink one. Let's see. Oh, Nelly, I was saying, um, I had I had turned Kelly's into a coloring page because she had asked me because she was struggling with some pieces on her page. And so I was telling Kim and them this morning, I didn't want anyone to think that I was picking favorites. Um, so if you wanted me to turn yours into a PDF coloring page that everyone can download and color as well, I can do that. So just let me know if that's something that you want. Uh, let's see. I just didn't want, you know, uh, to, to jump the gun and be like, oh, I'll do this without anybody's permission. So, uh, let's see. Black. Okay. Scarlet red. Oh, you know what? I think this scarlet red one isn't in here. Oh, no, it is scarlet red. Okay, this brown one's already there. This one's already there. Those are there. Okay, and this one. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five additional colors outside of the 24 set. Um, and then, you know, I've had these ones that are from the 12 set. But anyway, so for our next page... For our next page, uh, we can use the limited palette of the smaller set of polychromos. I was just clarifying with, with everybody, too, because, I, like I said, I didn't want anybody to think I picked favorites. It's just she had already asked me. So I was just like, okay. And I didn't think anything of it. And then when I posted, everybody was so excited. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did I do? <laughs> so, anyway, that option is on the table if you'd like because you were you and... Um, Marsha and Kimmy and Kelly were the original four that colored along that night. I can't say I do that to everyone, otherwise I'm going to be drawing for forever. Uh, but four is just fine. Okay, so let's see. I need to use red now. We're going to use number 29. I'm just going to add a little bit of color here to the base of the leaf. Here we go. How is everybody's morning going? Everybody got their coffee? We're supposed to, we're waiting on a big storm to roll through. It keeps moving out. So uh, I think most of you know, but I'm based in Texas and we've got this tropical storm Imelda going on right now. And um, we're not right on the, on the Gulf, but we are going to get some rain definitely not the level that Houston's getting I mean they're getting like 12 inches so not supposed to get much but we should have at least two days here of some rain and thunderstorms but originally the rain was supposed to hit at like three o'clock yesterday then it was like 4 a.m and then it was like 11 a.m so it was sprinkling this morning but that's about it I just feel like we're still kind of just waiting on this thing like I don't know whether or not to send my kids and you know 
Lumber it in. Oh, that's right. Pat, you're probably going to get some of this too, huh? It looked like it was it was going to hit Louisiana. Be right back. Sounds good, Rochelle. Are you getting any of the rain yet, Pat? I'm not quite sure where in Louisiana. I just know that the southern part of Louisiana is going to get some of that rain. But we're we're north of Houston, so we're not getting a real strong. But it is we are in the direction that um, the storm is supposed to go. We're just you know we're just getting the tail end of it. A little rain, but we should be good. Well, that's good. That's good, Pat. Whenever they talk about all that rain and potential flooding, my heart just goes out to New Orleans because it's like, that's all everybody needs, you know? I feel like whenever some big disaster like that happened, it feels like, it, you know, we're still recovering for it or from it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a little rain. I do. I actually find rain very relaxing. But I like rain up until the point that it's life-threatening. When it gets life-threatening, I no longer like rain. Like a good fall shower, you know? Okay. Hi, Michaela. Welcome, welcome. All right, so there are all of those kind of medium leaves here. So just to recap, we used the Stedler Ergo Soft. We used number five. We used number 50. We used number 10. And we used number 29, okay? Coffee, coffee. All right. I haven't checked the weather report much this morning. Who knows? Maybe it'll move out even further. Who's to say? All right. Now we're going to do like these leaves here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's get those kind of other little leaves done. And I've done some already, it looks like. So we need this kind of blue green here. And then I think this green here, and then the yellow and probably the red again. Okay, so we're gonna use this combination. So it'll be number 38, oh here, let's, let's turn this over. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. There we go. So it'll be number 38, 52, 10, and 29. I love the rain also, especially while coloring crafting, right? And I think part of it is too, is because you can feel, I mean, it's too hot down here to go outside anyway, but I think like for me in my childhood, like watching TV or doing a lot of the indoor stuff usually happened when it was raining. So it's like when it's raining, I feel almost more justified staying indoors and crafting or coloring or something, you know? So anyone wanting the Neo 2 water crayons, I found some from Stedler. They work amazing. Oh, awesome. Where did my little eraser thingy go? Oh, it's right there. I was looking straight at it. I realize I've got this little mark up here I wanna get rid of. Yeah, I keep eyeballing the full set of those polychromos, but I told my husband for Christmas. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna kind of do what we did before is we're just gonna go around and use one color for all of them. I think that makes it go a little bit quicker, you know? So we are using number 38 now. Oh, you got them on Amazon? Awesome. Let's see, get a little bit closer there. Well, I, so my Stedler inking pens didn't work out when I did the drawing steam on Friday. They just like, they clogged up. It was awful. So I did some research on some new fen, pens and surprisingly just the like pigment liner style of Copic markers, uh, they weren't that expensive. I got like four of them for less than $15. So I was just like, okay, 
figure Copic's a pretty good brand and it, I like Stedler's products, I do. I mean, I use their pencils all the time. I have their, their fine liners, but those pigment liners, it was a brand new pack and maybe it was just a dud or something, but they just dried out. Like, or they got clogged up or something, but they just were not working. And I was so disappointed because I specifically got a fresh pack so that I could do the stream for it. So anyway, point is, is I ordered the Copic ones that should be here um, either today or tomorrow. So, cause I, I've been doing, you know, the drawing on the iPad, but I know not everybody has an iPad. And I had a lot of people asking me like, well, how do you keep your lines so straight, all of that. And the fact of the matter is, it's just the lines weren't shaky because there's a little feature you can turn on the iPad called Streamline and it makes your lines straight. And so I felt bad being like, I, you know, I was honest. I was just like, I'll be honest, I did this digitally. That's why the, the lines came out so clean. But I think a lot of people would benefit from me actually using pencil and ink because that's what they're going to use. So if I'm gonna teach anybody how to do this, I should teach them with the tools that they are going to be using. You know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna use number 52 now. So as soon as those get here, I'm gonna give it another try. And I'm thinking that the heart one might be a good one to do too, so that nobody's intimidated by the whole symmetry thing. I do, uh, Chai, yeah, I do. But I have an older generation and I think it's just a 9.7. It's not like the 10 inch one, so it is a smaller one. But I also have, uh, I also have the Apple Pencil, which makes everything a lot, uh, a lot easier. Let's see, Michaels and Hobby Lobby are discontinuing their copper markers and they have them on sale for $1.99? Really? Dang, I might have to stop by Hobby Lobby today. Uh, Emily, what is the best way to get you to chat Instagram? Yeah, Instagram comes right, uh, run to my phone. Sometimes if I'm like not on uh, Wi-Fi, I won't get the emails right away, but Instagram never has a problem popping up even if I'm on Wi-Fi or, or data. So uh, yeah, Instagram will probably be the fastest way uh, for me to be able to respond to it. Found them yesterday? Yes, going there today? Yeah, because I haven't tried Copics. I mean, I have the uh, the Arteza art markers and everything, but at least to grab a couple to try them. I mean, because heck, the Prismacolors are $1.29. And that's just for, that's just for the pencils. Now, I usually only spend that much on the Prismacolors at Hobby Lobby when I just really, you know, I don't want to wait for shipping from like Dick Book or something like that. But yeah, $1.99 is pretty good because they're usually what? What are they? $3.99? $2.99? No. How much are the Copics usually? I know they're, they're more obviously than $1.99, but I, I guess I've never really paid attention to them because it's like, oh, that's out of the budget, you know? La la la, I'm not listening. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Hi, Audrey. Welcome. Eight? They were eight dollars? Yeah, Nelly says, what? Hobby Lobby? Yeah, I was doing duty, but she's having buff your palms so I pop it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. $3.99, $4.99. What? Michaels? Is that all Hobby Lobbies and Michaels? Yeah, they were priced as eight dollars. Dang. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to swing by there after I pick up my kid today. <laughs> Mommy's just gonna go to Hobby Lobby real quick. He's gonna look at me and just roll his eyes and be like, again? I'm telling you, like any time that like my friends have wanted to like get me, uh, you know, I don't wanna use this red. We're gonna use, or at least, so instead of this red for added, we're gonna use this one here, number 61. Good Lord, that's a loud motor out there. Um, yeah, I, I, if they're never sure what to get me, I'm just like Hobby Lobby gift card, just call it good. We're using number 10, by the way. I've spent way too much money there. <laughs> I know if I go, it'll be a waste. If I go now, it'll be a wasted trip. Copic has about six. Copic sketch about eight to nine. Dang, how long has this been going on? My luck, I would drive out there and they'll already be gone. See, I, I'm lucky because we have a Hobby Lobby that's next to my kid's school. So it's literally on the way home. <laughs> Which is not necessarily good because I used to like drop off my oldest at school and then, you know, it'd be right before Hobby Lobby and go out. So I'd be there like right at 9 a.m. when they open. <laughs> I also found one of the carts on wheels for 24, regularly 59. Nice. I got really lucky with the cart with the wheels because um, I had a gift card to Michael's and I was able to use the coupon. Long story short, I got one of those little metal carts with the wheels, like the three tier one for like 15 bucks. I was so excited helps when you've got like a $20 gift card to Michael's. Um, <laughs> so 
So yeah, I only had to pay like 15 out of pocket. We're gonna use 61 now. You know, real quick, let's just look up, I don't know, score, right? Let's look up, um, let's, I'm gonna open up the Hobby Lobby app real quick here. And we'll, we'll check out that sale real quick. While everybody's here, let's see, let's see, weekly coupon, no, that's the weekly coupon. We want the ad. Would it be in the ad? Let's see, Christmas decor, loads of Christmas stuff. Probably stresses me out when they've already got Christmas stuff out. Crafts paper, let's see, art sale. Okay, all Master's Touch and Fine Touch is 50% off. Let's zoom out a little bit. Boop, boop. Here we go. On Hobby Lobby's website, the singles are $7.99, so yeah, this is a great deal. Yeah. I'm trying to see. Let's just go to the website itself and see if it's marked as like clearance. Hobbylobby.com, here we go. I don't think it's an advertised deal, not sure. Okay, there we go. All right, well, let's just search real quick. Oh, come on. Search Copic. We're just gonna search the word Copic. Yeah, so the list is $7.99, but so it could just be an in-store thing. Well, either way. And you know what, if all else fails, ladies, just call your, your local Hobby Lobby or, Mike or, or, or Michaels and um, they should be able to conf confirm for you what uh, what it is. Because it's not listed on the website, but their clearance stuff isn't always listed. I feel like we've been working on this page for forever. Ever get to the point of page where you know you're closing in on the end and you're just like, I just, it's not that you're not enjoying it. You're just anxious to see the end result, you know? And it's just like, ugh. I don't think it was an advertised deal, not sure. Yeah, well, well I'll call her. Well, actually for me, for me, it's it's literally, a trip to Hobby Lobby is never wasted for me. <laughs> I need another cart for my coloring tools. I moved my prizes to a larger tote and separate containers for Michaels. I just want all my stuff in one spot in case I go to the living room or kitchen. See, I've got my little set corner here where I do all this, but the problem, well, it's not even a problem really. I mean, I shouldn't complain. Uh, I have more art supplies than I have space for. And so now I'm needing to get creative. I've been trying to brainstorm lately, um, like how I can make a wall storage for like markers or pens or something like that. I imagine some sort of like PVC pipe that's like cut at an angle and then you could mount it on a board. So you've got all these tubes that are kind of just at a slight angle and then you can store everything in it. But it also sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, I can do it cause I know how, but I got my cart for my bedside after surgery so I can color bed. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Okay. I know I need to go back in and color these larger leaves. A pegboard? Oh, there you go. There you go. But I don't really feel like coloring these yet. I kind of want to do these little ferns. Now, I want to get your opinion because we have a lot of green here with all the leaves. Keep in mind, PVC can get expensive. That is true. That is true. Um... Uh, I we're gonna have a lot of green leaves. These are gonna be green too. So what do you think about the idea of doing these fronds almost like a brown or a red? It's just an idea. I just feel like maybe tossing in an extra color in here, you know? My husband made the PVC pipe glue and tear so I can set on my desk. Oh, there you go. See, that's the thing though, is I'm running out of desk space. So it definitely needs to be something I can mount on my wall. Here, I'll show you guys, see if I can keep myself out of frame here and my other messy part. Here we go. Okay, so you can see I've got, oh, there's me. <laughs> but you know, I've got pictures and stuff up on the wall and I've got, you know, this thing over here. There's my cart over there. It's got stickers and stuff on it. But, so I definitely can rearrange things, but I want to figure out something to put on the wall. Reddish brown. That's what I'm thinking, Nellie. I'm always going from my uni room to my room at my family house. So my art supplies are all over the place. There you go. <laughs> I forget how like wide angle this camera is. <laughs> all right. So let's grab... 
grab our brown here. Hello, coloring cats. Well, I'm so glad you're here. We are working on this page here that was drawn using the tutorial um, from Johanna's How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. Um, and we are hoping to finish this up today. Get a pegboard mounted to the wall and get the little containers. Oh, there you go. I think a trip to Lowe's might be in order too. Works great, I've done it, awesome. Do you have a picture of it, Kimmy? I'd love to see how you did yours. Because I definitely think a wall mount is gonna be my best option. Cool, yeah, if you can, can you message me on Instagram or Facebook or something so I can see? I'm, I'm, I'm a visual learner. If I can see it, it's much easier for me to, uh, to, to figure out how to make it. Awesome, cool, thanks, Kimmy. I am down for any new ideas. Thank you, Coloring with Cats. I crocheted sort of like hanging baskets that you can hang on a certain rod or long wood dowel. It holds tools right now. Oh, that's cool, Chai. Maybe we should make a post in the Facebook group. Everybody can post their, their storage ideas. Oh, yeah, of course, Kimmy. Um, they can post their storage ideas. And then we're going to use this pink, and then we'll use this. Oh, cool. Well, I'm excited, Kimmy. Yeah, because I've really been trying to brainstorm. I've been looking on Pinterest and stuff like that. And, like, there's some stuff on Amazon, but it's all, like, desk office storage. And it's just, like, I found some, like, individual boxes, but it's more like paint storage, so it's not long enough to hold pencils or markers. And so I'm just like, eh, not quite what I'm looking for. You know, I'll know it when I see it, if it, if it works right. Oh, Michaela, here, just type uh, exclamation point. Ah, if I can type face book there we go and that'll oh there you go thanks Kimmy <laughs> uh, that'll pop up a link and that is our Facebook group right there and if you're not following the Instagram yet either you can do exclamation point Instagram and Michaela it's been a little off since I've been trying to get a rhythm with this new schedule but a lot of times too we'll uh, vote on which page we're gonna color next and everything so it's a great way to uh, keep up on you know if I have to cancel stream because of the kids or or whatever other uh, reason something shiny right there there we go all right let's zoom on in and work on these fronds here okay Let's see. Do I want to do dark at the tip or dark at the base? I think I'm going to do dark at the tip. Okay. So we're going to start out with the number 76. I'm not sure what this little mark here is, but it's cool. We'll roll with it. Then we'll grab the number 49, just a little bit here. Did anybody see, I don't know if you watched or not, I think an album of DIY affordable storage solutions would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be perfect, Chai. Let's see, I'm on the phone with Hobby Lobby right now. Some of them are marked down to 75%. She's gonna go see how much they have left. Oh, awesome, Pat. In fact, Chai, I'm going to put that on my sticky note here. DIY storage album. It's where I write all my notes to, to do later. So cool. Yeah, I'm going to fix that up later. All right. Let's see. We're still using 49. Then we're gonna grab number, I got a new Hobby Lobby store, oh awesome. They were marked down last week, so, oh yeah, they're, who's to say? You know, I was in there the other day for mine, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to, definitely gonna have to go back in and look today. We're using 25 now. And we're kinda using the pink over everything here. And then we're gonna follow up with yellow. Pat, how far are you from your Hobby Lobby? Like, is it a bit of a chore to make it to it? 
There we go, and that's number 10. All right, let's zoom on out. What do we think? Yeah, I think that's a good balance, actually. I think that's nice. Just in town, about 30 minutes, okay. Mm. Folks, I think my coffee has officially gone cold. Yarp. I don't like it when my coffee goes cold, and I'm never one to really reheat it. Live in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Oh, okay, very nice. Thanks, Kimmy. Yeah, I think it's a nice contrast from all the green leaves. I think if I were to do them green, mine's 15 to 20 minutes, too close. I know, right, Chai, right? Yeah, mine's like 10 minutes away. An, a negligible amount of distance. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this number 76 and we're gonna go ahead and use this brown on all the fronds here and then we're just gonna do one color at a time. Um, anyway, to finish my thought though, I don't know if anybody here watches Call the Midwife. I definitely do. Anyway, I realized yesterday there were new episodes. I definitely, uh, so many college kids here. Nope, they are out. Oh, sorry, Pat. Yeah, right there with you, uh, cats. I, I live in a college town too and it's absolutely crazy. Is it bad that I like want to call my Hobby Lobby midstream and find out if there's any? <laughs> Professional streamer, by the way. I don't know that there's a lot of people in my town that, you know, value the use of Copic markers very much. My nearest ho Hobby Lobby is over the ocean. <laughs> Audrey, so, you know, just, just a little short trip. Right, Annette? Oh my goodness. It gets me every time. Absolutely every time. Like, it's just, I'm, there's rarely an episode where I find I'm not tearing up. And maybe it's just because, you know, I've got young kids. So, you know, in the last, you know, few years, I've actually given birth. But still, I'm just like, okay. Thanks, call the midwife. <laughs> it's such a good story, though. <laughs> Kimmy says, mine is five minutes away. I plan on going to Hobby Lobby this weekend. I'm giving it time. It will be busy. There you go. Uh, so Nelly, I live in Texas, about an hour north of Houston. I don't, I guess I never really say specifically which town, but if anybody knows about my painting classes or has seen them, it wouldn't be hard to put two and two together, but I never like outwardly advertise this is the town that I live in, but I live in Texas and so it's hot, lots of bugs. <laughs> I think I can't help it because, you know, me too. Oh, okay, awesome. I have a friend that lives in Texas. Very nice. I think part of my hesitation with putting out too many details of myself stems a lot from, I mean, I was a kid when the internet, you know, got invented, I guess, came out, was a regular household thing. And so internet safety, you know, because they had chat rooms and stuff and everything, internet safety was such a big a, such a big deal you know and so I think almost and, and it is a big deal still you know you still need to be safe but I think just the it, it's been almost ingrained in me and so I kind of have a hard time getting my brain out of that wiring like I'm very private with you know with my actual Facebook and I don't post too many pictures of my kids you know I just I, I think it's just something my brain was trained into so you were born in texas okay very nice ah good old texas i know right nelly one of these days though it'd be cool to kind of find out how many of the viewers are like within driving distance of houston and like we could set up some sort of coloring meetup wouldn't that be cool if we like all just there was um i was part of another group initially when I first started doing the coloring and there were enough of us that were within driving distance of Waco and we tried to do that but it then just kind of fell apart and never happened but like one of these days if I knew there were enough people that lived within driving distance of Houston it might um be something I worth trying out again but 
I know there's a few that live in Texas here, but I just don't know how many there are and like, okay, is it worth it to try and pull something together, you know? Because I could definitely do a day trip for Houston. Maybe when it's not, you know, in buckets of rain. Uh, coloring of cats. I do use gel pens. So I use a couple different ones. I have the Arteza metallic gel pens, but as far as metallic gel pens, I actually like these ones just a little bit better because they get a nice, uh, more solid color. So these are the Sleechy metallic gel pens. And then also, I really like the Arteza glitter gel pens. These are super sparkly. Sounds good, Kimmy. So yes, I do. And I usually use them for like little embellishments and stuff. I don't think I've ever done a whole page in gel pens, um, but I use them a lot for little embellishments. Oh, that's cool, Chai. Very cool. See, that's the thing. I'm definitely lacking in uh, people, you know, in real life that enjoy coloring as much as I do. You know, a lot of my a lot of my friends and people I know and stuff know that I do this, but they also don't do it. So it's it's kind of hard to do that. All right, now we're gonna use number. Oh, not that one. We're going to use number forty nine. Okay, and we're just gonna go through like we did again. Yeah, no worries. Ask away. I like answering questions. And can everybody hear the music when it gets kind of quiet? Can everybody hear it or is it too quiet? I guess it's a bad time to ask it because it's kind of a low point of the music right now. Good morning, Abby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Would help if I kept this centered, hmm? <laughs> Just a little bit. I always save the gel pens if I do use them. Like I try to save them to the last because I inevitably end up smearing them. I wish I had someone here closer that has passion for coloring. That'd be so cool. I know, right? But that was so cool though that, that you had Tanya and Mary visit. That must have been so much fun. How many adult coloring books do you have? Oh gosh. Well, do you count multiples? Good morning, Marsha. Hey, Marsha, by the way, um, I was telling Kimmy and Nellie and everybody earlier. So, uh, Kelly's picture, I turned into a coloring page because she had asked me. Um, so because you were one of the original four that drew along with me that night, if you would like me to turn your page into a coloring, uh, downloadable PDF, just let me know. And then we can turn it into a coloring page so that everybody could download it and color it if you want. So just let me know if that's something you're interested in. I didn't want anybody to think I was picking favorites with Kelly. It just happened to work out that way. Um, but yeah, so if you count doubles, Kat, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37. I think I've got 37. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, Pat. Yeah, 37 if you count duplicates, because I've got like some artist editions of some. I might be missing one or two, because I think I've got a Harry Potter one somewhere. Okay, cool, Marsha. I just wanted to make sure I asked beforehand, because I didn't want to feel like I, I was, you know, like jumping on anybody's drawings or anything like that. But it had worked out that way with Kelly, and then when I posted it, I was just like, oh... Well, I didn't want anybody to think that, you know, I chose Kelly's because hers was the best or something. It was just, um, she was asking for some help for hers. So I went ahead and did it up and I was like, oh, cool. Well, we can just post it since it's now in this. And she's like, okay. So anyway, but yeah, so I can, I can do that. I think because I'm 
I've got a few stragglers. Let's just round it out and say that I've got like 40, I think. Oh, and I wasn't in, was I in frame for that one? Okay, yeah, I was in frame, but not centered. And we are using number 49, by the way. Fifty-seven adult coloring books. <laughs> there you go. Well, see, and and we, uh, you know, a few of them. You know, I got multiple copies of Johanna's because we've, you know, colored in different ones. I've been, you know, sent some, gifted some, that kind of thing. So I don't feel as guilty because I haven't bought all of them, but yeah. I'll definitely. I, I've I've never finished a full book by any means. Okay, now we're gonna use number twenty-five. Oh, Abby, are you within range of the tropical storm also? That's what Pat and I were talking about earlier. I still need to get put together like a Victorian. Um, I want to do like a Victorian overlay for the stream, for the Victorian streamathon. And then I need to get like some Victorian themed music. I'm just kind of taking this number 25 over all the leaves here. We're good, hot and sunny, but I'll be watching the next one. See, I buy too many gel pens. They call me crazy. Nonsense. Nonsense, cat. There's no such thing as too many gel pens. Okay, I suppose if you're literally in a room filled with gel pens, like you're literally swimming in them, you know, just an entire room filled with gel pens, maybe that might be much, but... I, I highly doubt. Oh, so you just got uh, all of that other hurricane stuff going on. Sounds good, Tyler. Thanks for the lurk. got all this pink on here. There we go. I tried telling my friends they buy too many games, so what's the difference? Exactly! That says, oh Emily, I finally found Streamlabs. Oh awesome, I just had OBS and I've been looking at the different themes and stuff. Do you have the premium set? No, Pat, I just, um, I have the basic stuff. If it's anything you had to pay for, I don't have any of it. Um, and there's there's different things you can download for it. But as far as like my overlays and stuff, um, like the little white box that's down here at the bottom, I just made this box in Photoshop and like I can set the opacity so it's clearer. So any of the packages or anything, I didn't download uh, any of that. You can for sure, but I haven't paid for anything extra on here at all. So I know a bit scary, but I'm hoping the little cool front coming in pushes it back. Oh, right, Pat? This cool front has been so nice. I almost felt bad, too, because it was a little chilly when I took my kids to school. But, you know, it's, it's going to warm up. This humidity is no joke. Seriously. All right. Now we're going to use number 10. Awesome, Michaela. Sounds good. Me or one of my admins will approve it either, you know, now or later uh, after the stream's over and all that. So, yeah. And this uh, PDF is available in the files. There's loads of them there. If you need any coloring charts, there's a ton of stuff uh, that you can download and print out. So no worries on that. And there are, you know, like rules and guidelines for posting, but pretty much you can post um, any of your work in progress on there. We're not like Johanna specific or anything like that. We're using number 10, by the way. Yes, that'd be awesome. Please send the cold front. I know, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, because I'm I haven't I haven't bought anything, Pat. I just I made everything for mine. 
message me on Instagram, Pat. Let me know kind of what you're looking for. Maybe I can help you with some of it. Robin this cold front kills off some of the giant mosquitoes. Oh, Leslie. And Leslie, did I miss you? Hello, Leslie. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, these mosquitoes have been no joke. I wore shorts the other day. It was like outside during one of my kids' school playtimes for like 20 minutes. I had like five bites, which is why I was wearing my watch the other day during stream and I couldn't figure out why it was bothering me. I thought maybe it was just too warm. Well, I turned my wrist over. I got a darn mosquito bite right there, right where my watch was sitting. It's like, really? Really? <laughs> Ugh, these mosquitoes are awful. And then they go through Italian and you're like, by the way, don't get pregnant for the next- Not that I'm getting pregnant anyway, but they sent like out a notice to uh, a lot of people in our area. Because they're like, you probably want to hold off getting pregnant right now if you're going to because mosquitoes are carrying Zika virus and it can do this to your children. And I'm like, oh my lord, you know? <laughs> Mosquitoes are bad in Michigan. It's like, ugh, it's the flies in the daytime, mosquitoes at night. We don't have too many issues with the flies, but I also, so we have a balcony and I covered it in mosquito netting, mostly because we couldn't even go out and switch our laundry after the sun went down. And so we have a mosquito netting net. So it cuts down on a lot of bugs that we get in the house, which is nice. Not to mention uh, our other cat, Paul, he is like the most epic bug hunter ever. I can have pretty good peace of mind knowing he's prowling the house. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's think about what we want to do for the middle of this flower. Hmm? So green is complementary to red, but we've already got green leaves. So we could do... Yes, they are. I don't go out at night. <laughs> yeah, right? They're awful. Awful, 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 awful. Let's do like a purplish blue. I think that'll be nice. So we're going to grab... About 30 minutes from mine, but I go almost every other day for bakery supplies. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, says I've been lurking and forgot to enter the command in chat. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hi, Julie. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thanks so much, Julie. Yeah, we're, I'm hoping if I can stop talking so much, maybe we'll actually get this, uh, get this done here. <laughs> It's horrible. You laugh, but when we get into the pool at night, we can hear wear a hat with mosquito netting on. Ugh. I totally get that, Pat, and I totally believe it. And it's spider season. They keep coming in. Uh, see, spiders don't bother me as much because that's what we had in the Northwest with spiders. But I think they congregate in my carport, which is where our laundry is, since my husband thinks I'm silly for not going out. He's doing the laundry. <laughs> there you go. It's not silly at all. Insects are bleh. I am not a fan. Okay. I will say though, at least spiders have a purpose. You know, they help keep down the bug population. But like, ugh. I had never seen a cockroach in my life because I had, I live, you know, in the Northern part of the US. When we moved down here, I got a job at a, at a mall. It's just, you know, any, any kind of job. Anyway, there's all these hallways back behind all of the stores and everything. Anyway, I was walking down this dark hallway and I saw my first one there scared the living bejesus out of me. I had never seen one before in my life. What I know now is that, I don't know, you know, like with spiders, with spiders, it's called what, arachnophobia? Is there a name for a phobia of cockroaches? Because that's what I have. Like, I just, I freeze. They are so, blah, I can't even talk about them anymore. If there's a name for a phobia of those, I have them. They're just, they're the worst. Spiders create, yeah, spiders make me want to break my neck running from them. Oh no, see, I have a couple coloring pages that I've created that have spiders on them. We got a gecko, uh, uh, they got in the, oh, right, Chai? Like, why do they exist except to gross people out? Like I said, spiders at least have a purpose. Roaches have no purpose except to be gross. <laughs> but uh, there was a gecko that got into the house the other day. Uh, I'm using number six, by the way. And roach phobia. Yes, exactly. There's, uh, there's going to be a technical, there's always technical terms for them somewhere, right? Uh, uh, we had a gecko that got in the house uh, like a month ago. And our, our cat, who usually does not show much interest in chasing after things, she... Uh, she found it and ended up getting its tail, the poor thing. But I tell you, she was pretty pleased with herself for having found that thing. 
Like the ones here local city areas that are called palmetto bugs. Interesting. Palmetto. Do they have the giant there? Crickets are nasty too. Yeah, we had the summer that I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, it's like every summer there's a certain type of like bug that like swarms into town. And so like, you know, it's been the little black beetles. Sometimes it's the love bugs. Uh, but the, the summer that I was pregnant with my daughter, uh, it was the crickets. Forget insects. We have coyotes and javelinas. There you go. The crickets are insane here too. Yeah. So yeah, the summer that, um, I was pregnant with my daughter, we had crickets and it's just like in the morning they would just, you know, a bunch of them would die off. They'd be at the base of the buildings. It was just absolutely gross. But I remember, so I was still working at the mall when I was pregnant with my daughter and I would only work occasionally. Hi, Arianne. Welcome. It's common for a lizard gecko to throw the tails off to ward off. Oh, they actually throw it off? I thought, I just assumed the cat bit it off. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't either, Leslie. Coyotes here and gators. Oh boy, Abby. Uh, I have two, uh, I have two cats. Um, but I remember, so I went in, I was working like a stocking night shift and I only worked like occasionally. It was mostly just when they got a new, uh, like there was a new line of stuff coming in. Anyway, so I went in in the evening and there wasn't anything out. But by the time that I was done, it was like 10 o'clock at night and I go out to the mall parking lot and there is just a sea of crickets, like legit. And so like, I'm trying to get around there because of course every time you step next to them, they're hopping around. I'm telling you, anybody that had been watching me probably would have thought it was hilarious. This seven months pregnant woman hop around the parking lot trying to avoid getting, you know, jumped in the ankles by these crickets. Oh, it was so bad. But I remember I was talking with a friend of mine in the parking lot and I'm looking at her and all of a sudden this cricket just skitters up on her shoulder and it's just sitting there chilling and I'm like oh my god <laughs> like I flung it off but it was just the way it just did, 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 and then just sat there I was just like oh no my cats eat crickets grasshoppers and other bugs she can eat all she wants at least she doesn't bring them to me <laughs> oh yeah it wasn't back then but yeah it was just when I say a sea of crickets I am not kidding it covered the parking lot like it was just like it was moving like if I could go back and film it and show you I would but it was literally it was you know 10 o'clock at night so it was dark out so they were out and it was just literally a sea of crickets I was almost too scared to go to my car <laughs> crickets are like the movie the birds for me yeah I totally get that I totally get that I remember when I used to go to camp, we would get, not the, not like the black crickets that we get here in Texas, but it was just different ones. They were, you know, kind of little brown ones. But I remember when I was at camp, all the girls, you know, if we had hairspray in our cabin, we'd just hairspray the crickets till they stopped moving. I know that sounds awful, but we didn't want them in our bunks, you know? Hi, Beth. Welcome. <laughs> Bugs, man. Am I right? All right, so we're gonna use number 30 now. I got this darker blue, but I don't know that we're gonna use it. So we're gonna jump into number 30 here. What videos do I watch? What do you mean? Like other, other, other colorists and stuff, cats? There's a store here and the whole wall was black. I refused to even go in the store. Oh, gross. Oh my God. Do y'all remember the movie Attack of the Killer Bees with the beetle car? I think I've heard of it, but I don't think I've watched it. Wow, this conversation took a turn. <laughs> I know, right? It's usually the way it works, so Leslie. Um, so I'll watch other streamers that are on. In fact, uh, Cajun Sunshine Crafts right there, she streams. A good uh, way to find a lot of other colorists is when we do our colorathons, um, cats. And so I have this link posted in the Facebook group. So we have the Victorian colorathon coming up November 20th through 22nd. So these are all really good colorists to check out. So we have Cajun Sunshine Crafts, which is Pat here in chat. Um, CB's Coloring and Crafts, Coloring Vicky, Laura Colors 2, Tanya Bornson Art, uh, there's me, Joe Beth, Color of Faithful Girl, Honor Your Crafts, Passion is Colorista, Color and Chat with Sammy, Nick and Tina, let's see who else have I not said, Coloring F, Cora Beth, Kitty Cat and Colors, Colorful Book Nester, so there's loads of them here. Um, 
so we have this link in our Facebook group, but this is going to be going on Vic, um, the 20th through the 22nd. And so there's going to be loads of us. Pretty much you can turn into YouTube and, uh, and, uh, oh yeah, there you go. Put three hearts by your name if you have, uh, if you have a channel. Um, but anyway, this is going to be happening then, but it's a great way to find other coloring streamers and stuff. If you are interested in watching some, thankfully I've been through a couple of them now. So I've picked up a number of names. So usually it'll just like, you know, light up on my left hand side. If you know, I'll get a little red dot whenever somebody's live and I can't always chat cause most of the time I'm doing stuff with the kids, but you know, lurking is always helpful to the streamer because that helps get their numbers up, which helps them get seen all that kind of stuff. There is yes, Leslie, there is. Uh, there we go. Kimmy's put it in. Uh, Kat's right there. That's the link to our Facebook group. You can go there and uh, request to join. And then one of our admins or I'll do it uh, after stream will approve your request. And in there, there's the PDF download for this coloring page, um, as well as a few other coloring pages like um, these ones here, which is what I drew from the uh, Wonderlands thing. So there's lots of other coloring pages and um, coloring charts, blank coloring charts. There's loads of uh, freebies in the files. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Kimmy. So yes, feel free to check it out. You can post your work in progress there. Um, I, I've been, I didn't do one for this one because I, I forgot to, but I, I like to try and post events for when we have uh, streams going on. By the way, this is number 10. Um, so that's where you're going to find most updates for uh, the stream. If something has to be canceled or something has to be changed, that kind of stuff. Because as I have children, it is slightly unpredictable. Sometimes they get sick, which is what they were last weekend. So anyway, loads of different things. Yep, can't always, cannot always participate in every chat, but it's just impossible. Oh, I know, right? Exactly, Pat. All right. Oh, I like the way that turned out, that little middle middle color there I think that's good let's do let's just go ahead and keep rolling with it and do this this middle part here let's grab what do I want to do with it hmm? let's grab all right we're gonna grab number 76 here how am I doing on time 10 20 all right we still got like 40 minutes we good Pencil lead on this brown is feeling weak. I have a feeling it's going to snap, but I will not push it before it's ready to snap on its own. Yeah, no worries, we can't. Pat, you need to tell B about Nightbot. Oh yeah, Nightbot's super great. It's uh, something that I can link. Um... Oh, are you talking about like Coloring Bliss? Or is there another B? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's super handy because I can, um, like if you go to Time for your round to take my daughter to school. Sounds good, Michaela. If you do exclamation point commands, that'll list all the commands in chat. So for instance, like I'm using ErgoSoft today and I could type exclamation point ErgoSoft. I know, right? She's great. And so here's a link to the 36 count uh, Stedler ErgoSoft. Same thing with exclamation point how to draw. And this is a link uh, to pre-order Johanna's new book. Um, I'm going to grab my water real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Now that my coffee's cold, I don't have anything to drink. And my throat is getting dry. Hi, cutie. Now, the question is, are you going to come in here and sleep? Or are you going to come in here and get in the courts? Hmm? Out you go, out you go. <sighs> yeah, the links, Pat. Yeah, I try to update them too. So, um, no, Nightbot is a separate program. Uh, you can go to. What is it? What's the website? It's um, nightbot.tv. You can Google too. Uh, look up on Google Nightbot. And then what you do is you link it with your YouTube. And then you can make all your custom commands and everything. But it's super handy. Like, I, I, I'm actually probably putting less... Um, less links and stuff in the description because I have most of them listed here. So, like, I don't even know if this is updated, actually. But like tools, I might have that updated. I'm not sure. K 
can't remember when I used it last. I think this was when we did our drawing one, so that might not be updated. So yeah, that was when we did the drawing ones. Um, but like I can put, let's see, book. I think I put that. Um, Illa, so I can spell illustrator. So I have most all my books list or most all my like coloring books that I have listed as commands so that people can, you know, purchase them if they want to. So it just makes it a lot easier for people to, uh, to find the links. And sometimes Nightbot goes a little bit slow, but eventually it pulls it up. There you go, How to Draw Inky Wonderlands and Illustrator is Johanna Basford and Emily Emily Laughlin, there you go. Ah, uh, thanks, Kimmy. Yeah, Chai, it's super handy. Now, Chai, wait, you have a channel too, don't you, Chai? I don't know that I've watched yours. Well, now I feel bad if I haven't. Let me go here real quick, let's go to Chai. And go to channel. So I don't know if I'm following you or not. You do, there you go. All right, just subscribe to you, Chai. Ah, nonsense, Chai, you're fine. <laughs> and also for me, for my creating my channel, oh, I went to sleep the last night stream you did with your little tune in my head. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome, Kate. That's awesome, Pat. Uh, so that's the thing also for my music too. Uh, I use a website called Epidemic Sound. It's about $15 a month, um, but you have completely royalty free music, which is really nice. Um, because, you know, YouTube's a pretty big stickler about those things. And so it's nice being able to have some music to kind of fill the background. Oh, perfect, cats. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to use 76 again. We're going to do this middle part here. And I'm trying to change up the music occasionally. And, you know, like I said, I want to make, create some new overlays for the stream that have to do with, you know, what we're coloring, all that kind of stuff. Pat, that's in my head all the time. Oh, goodness. Is it this song right now? And this is 49. What's the music name? Uh, let's see. This particular song is called Fling on a Thing by Clark Russo. <laughs> but it's a bunch of uh, artists. What they do is they upload them to the website and then, you know, they get a portion of the purchase of, you know, the monthly fee or whatever. But you just have of this unlimited access to all these different kinds of music and so you can mix it up i try to have you know around 12 ish different songs yes this is one there you go how do you get it to play while you're streaming um i'm trying to remember how i set it up but essentially so i have it playing and what i do is i have it's it's listed as like my desktop audio not my not my microphone um, so it's linked through that. So I set it up as desktop audio. So I have separate control over my microphone volume and my desktop audio, which is the music. Uh, call me music. Yeah, I try to choose music that doesn't have um, a lot of lyrics in it because I feel like lyrics are going to be too distracting, especially when I'm already talking. So I, I try to choose stuff that doesn't have lyrics. Number 76 again. Number 49. So I'm like, I'm looking for like a lot of classical stuff. I'd like to find like something with a harpsichord for the Victorian colorathon. I was really wishing I could have played Disney music during the Disney colorathon, but that's a whole, that's a whole other copyright issue. <laughs> Oh, I can't pronounce your name because it's in different characters, but thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Welcome to our coloring family. Hi, Kenny. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing my best to try and get this page finished today. We'll see how it plays out. I should get pretty dang close. I paid two different copyright companies for the bar. 1200 a year just to be able to play music and have bands oh my word that's painful yeah it's 15 dollars a month for this i guess it would be 
because it, it's not it think of it like generic music it's definitely not anything um you know like top hits by any means but um yeah it's it's just like generic music but for coloring all i just need is you know a filler that's rough i didn't even think about that copyrights for for bars i didn't even think about that Oh, it's not? Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> okay, um, let's do this one over here. Number 76, number 49. 30 minutes. I can get this done. I can get this done. Now I don't want to do the brown for this for these orange ones because it's kind of there already. So we are gonna grab. What do we want for this? We're gonna grab number sixty-one. Oh, you were talking about epidemic sound. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen dollars a month is 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 pretty good. Ah, thanks, Beth. Here we can zoom out. You can see the whole thing. Yeah, so if you don't want to play, you know, uh, you know, top hits and you just kind of want to play, because there's loads of music on there. And there's stuff with, like, uh, lyrics and whatnot, but, um, yeah, there's loads of, there's loads of stuff on there. And I'm not quite sure how it works with that. Mostly it's, like, a lot of it is, is YouTube stuff, and I use it for, um, thanks, Abby. Uh, I use it for, you know, Instagram as well, but, yeah. All right, so this is number 61. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it on all of these orange flowers. Thanks, Pat. If I could play anybody, I'd probably play a lot of uh, Lindsey Sterling on here. I absolutely love her music. She's got a new album out. She plays kind of like hip hop violin, if that makes sense. But she's so, 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 so talented. All right, then number 49. Number 10. There we go. There we go. All right, we're closing in, folks. We're closing in on it. At some point, I have to go back and do these leaves. <laughs> Let's do these little leaves inside here, though. Or do we just want to use gel pen on them? Nah, they're big enough. We could color them. Um, let's do... It's hard for me to color right now. I have, I have a pink. Oh, that's too bad, cats. Well, hopefully you get over that pretty quick. We're gonna grab this kind of teal here and we'll use this light blue with it. Caught it from work. Oh, that's rough. Thank you for all the subs. I need to be more consistent. I think you just live stream with us, Chai. Next time there's a, a colorathon, you should join. All right, um, I'm gonna use number 35 here. That's one of the reasons I joined them because I knew there were a lot of people that weren't aware that I even existed as far as streaming is concerned. Well, thankfully you can hop on antibiotics for that and be over it pretty quickly. I just realized I did that one in the wrong spot, but had it since Sunday. I plan on it this weekend, have to meet a friend and make some shaker class and get back to join you. There you go. This little thing is so handy, but I'm also trying hard not to erase the other stuff. Like I erased that just a little bit. We'll fill that back in. There we go. There we go. Spooktober may have spot le spots left. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do another Hannah Carl's and Paige for the October one. Oh, and I'm even using the wrong one. Oh my goodness, my brain is not functioning. Here we go, that's better. All right, let's go back down here, huh? And then use number 30, just lightly, lightly filling that in there. Super light. There we go, that's better. All right, let's zoom on out. It's coming along, we're almost there. Ninety-six pages in it? Oh, is that listed like on the description? I didn't realize that had ninety-six pages in it. And her stuff is double-sided, so there's gonna be loads of stuff in it. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon, Kimmy. Okay, so let's do. Um, you know, let's just bite the bullet and get these leaves done. Are you going to put it in a frame? Um, I have a little booklet that I save these in. Um, cause I think if I framed everything, I'd run out of space. I showed earlier, I've got some stuff on the walls that I've laminated that I've done over the years. Let's see if I get this without getting me in it again. I've got like one in a frame there, but I have some stuff. Okay, yeah, let's just bite the bullet and get these done here. So this leaf should be the same as these. The question is, can I remember what I used on it? And then this leaf should be similar to this one. Okay, so for here, pretty sure I used this one. Oh, you sleepy Kenny. Ah, uh, thanks, Kenny. All right, so this one, I think, and this one, and this one, and this one. I think these ones, okay? So 38, 52, 50, and 10. I wish I had that kind of wall space where I sort of took over a corner of my bedroom. If I were to show you the camera to the right, it would show my bed. <laughs> so I sort of just commandeered the wall space. <laughs> my husband didn't have a whole lot of say in the matter. It's like, okay, my corner. Kind of turned it into mommy's, mommy's small little office. <laughs> Let's see, and then number 52. One of these days, maybe when I have it a bit more organized and cleaned up, because I've got a lot of clutter someplace, I can give you guys a mini tour of here's this wall, here's that wall, and here's this drawer. <laughs> Okay, and then number 50. Kind of go over the whole thing here. Okay, and then 
number 10. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our red here, which is our number 29. We're gonna zoom out so you can see kind of the big picture here. There we go, just like that. All right, and then the red here. There we go. Okay, that's the red there. Now I need to do this leaf over here. That's pretty pretty dark green, so I think we need to do this color, this one, and this one. I think I just honestly pressed a little bit harder. Okay. So let's do this like so. And this is number five, by the way. And a little bit of this one. It is, it is. I end up humming it and don't even realize it. Okay, 52. Is that like subliminal messaging? You'll start uh you'll start humming the song and then be reminded of Emily's stream. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Pat. <laughs> and then let's see, number ten here. Here we go. All right, then we're gonna use the red one again. Anybody seen the uh, commercial for the new Downton Abbey movie? I kind of want to see that. Okay. All right. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I think we might be getting close to the point where we're going to be using some gel pen. We're closing in on it, folks. We got like 20 minutes left. We can do this. We can do this. You have your dryer sound? <laughs> A little rhythmic tune. All right, um, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do. Okay. I wanna grab this blue here. Okay. And so this is number 37. I know, right, go Emily, go. I got this, home stretch, home stretch. Okay, so um, Philip pointed out and I realized that he was correct. I missed some dots within these leaves. This is just a number two uh, Stedler here. So if you wanna add more dots to make this complete, you feel free. Cause it does look a little bit off, you know? Not having dots. I just totally spaced this area with the dots. You know, if we wanna stay consistent, I suppose. We go. Zoom out. See there, it looks a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna grab number 37. 
and I'm just going to lightly kind of color right next to the flower to kind of create almost a blue kind of glow behind it. And again, this is number 37. Missing dots! Yeah, see, there you go, Philip. I fixed the missing dots. <laughs> when I was going to add this background, I realized you're right. That, that bothered me as well. So the missing dots have been returned. Would help if I could keep this centered, huh? Keep turning it. Little bit of glue, blue glow behind there, all right? Then I wanna take yellow here. We're gonna take number one, okay? With this red flower, we're gonna add a bit of a yellow glow behind the red flower. So we got some nice primary colored flowers here, so I wanna kind of bring that around. Okay, and then in a little bit, we're gonna grab our gel pens, okay? Because with all these, not the little black dots, but the circles especially, gel pens make the most sense. All right, now I wanna go ahead and grab this pink. So number 25, the skinny stem of that one leaf threw me when I colored the drawing, took some figuring out, right? And here I realized too, right? Here, we're gonna add a couple more. There we go, little dots. <laughs> okay, so now we've got number 25. I stayed in frame. Speaking of gel pens, Kimmy, did you get your pictures? Oh yeah, just curious, what does everyone do with the pictures they finish coloring? Do y'all hang them on the wall or leave them in the book? Um, Leslie, I cut most of my pictures out, so I'll either hang them on the wall or I have a little uh, kind of portfolio folder with plastic coverings that I tuck them into. Most of the ones from the stream have been in the, in the, in the little portfolio. I had some suggestions that you, I should like give them away for like giveaway prizes. Which I may still do. I just haven't decided yet. Okay, so when I do the gel pens here in a minute, as much as I wanna do like one of the same kind, we're gonna to have to work like left to right so that we don't smear it. And we're literally just adding like just a soft glow around these main flowers, not the smaller ones, but the... 
post them on Facebook and or Instagram. Yeah, and I definitely do that, but like if we're talking about storage afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Right there with you, Kimmy. File around the wall. Hi, Laura! Welcome, welcome! Yeah, see, that's that's the idea I got from Laura. Yeah, she gifts them. Okay. Alright, pencils are done with, folks. We've got T minus 12 minutes here. I could probably squeeze that out to 15 minutes just so that we can try and get this done. All right, we're gonna use sleechy gel pens and metallic gel pens. Let me grab all of those. Okay, gel pens, gel pens. Hi, Wendy, welcome. Well, you can always watch it back, Wendy, so no worries. Okay, I think that's all my colors there. I thought I had a purple gel pen too. Ah, there it is. That's right. Purple gel pen. Both purple gel pens, actually. Okay. Ah, thanks, Kimmy. All right. So we're going to use the sleechy gel pens and the glitter gel pens, okay? So these are sleechy metallic, or it's Pentel is the brand for those. And then this is these are the Arteza glitter gel pens. Uh, Julie, welcome, welcome. Yes, so the pencils we used were the Stedler Ergosoft pencils. Um, we are getting ready to use some gel pens here to finish it up. And so we are going to be using the Pentel Sleechy Metallic Gel Pens and the Arteza Glitter Gel Pens. Oh, the tools. I don't have the tools updated, Pat. I'm so awful with that. I don't even know why I have it there. I never updated. I'm so terrible. Okay. All right. So here is what we're going to do. For all the little circles, I want to do primary colors. Inside of these, I want to do, I think, the, the bronze We'll alternate with gold and then we have these little flowers to do. But what we need to do is, oh, there you go. There you go. Thanks, Kimmy. Um, what I need to do is uh, work from left to right. Otherwise, I am going to end up smearing them. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, for the Stedler one. So let's see. Let's do exclamation point gel pens, maybe. That one might be for the Arteza. Um, and then maybe exclamation point sleechy. Maybe I did that. I have to look it up. Yeah, I love Ergosoft ones. If it's not there, I'll have to update it. You can find them on Amazon though. Let's see if Nightbot catches up, see if I did that. Or maybe I just did exclamation point gel pen. We'll see if it catches up. You can find them on Amazon though, Pat. All right, so let's dive in here. Okay, so let's grab this one first. This is the, they don't really have names. Oh, bronze, this is the bronze one. Okay. And I have it kind of zoomed out because we're gonna be moving across the page, okay? And there's not too much technique with gel pen. All right, so um, I wanna pick out the yellow, the blue, and the red. Do I wanna do red? I didn't really do red. I did pink, didn't I? Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do these, these three for the dots. Okay. Apparently those are not the right commands, but if you do exclamation point commands and follow that link, you should be able to find it. All right. So let's go ahead and use a little bit of this. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of a soft pinkish one. Okay. I don't want to move too far because now we've got these little flowers here. We're going to use the regular metallic gel pens for this. So I watched the full video. Thank you. Love your drawing. Is there a video on how to draw this? Um, I didn't do a video on how to draw this. That being said, uh, Wendy, I did do an entire video on how to draw another one similar to this. Um, if you, oh my goodness, I have all kinds of things going on. Missed phone calls. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, so I did a draw along with how to draw this one, Wendy. Um, if you swipe right, you can see other ones that people cut along with it. Uh, but if you look on my past videos, um, it's on there. So it's not this one specifically, but it is how to draw the circle motif from Johanna's uh, How to Draw Inky When It Lands. Right, Kenny? Exactly. Okay, we're gonna use blue here for the sleechy, okay. And I want to use gold in the middle of those. 
And if you really want to, you can go over all the little black dots, but um, I'm probably just gonna leave them black. Okay, blue glitter there and there. It's so much harder when I'm trying not to go back over it without messing it up, you know? There's yellow, there's yellow, there's a yellow. Okay, oh, I love that glitter. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I just don't trust myself not to go back over it and smear it, you know what I mean? All right, uh, we're gonna grab this. Let's see, is this red or is this pretty metallic red? All right, it works. Well, do I wanna do red there? Yeah, we'll do red. Cause I thought I had a pink gel pen too. Ah, I do, there's pink, ha ha ha. Hello, hello, I know I'm late, but out those days. It's all right, Lucy, well, welcome. You can do exclamation point late. And it'll say, you're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Oh, that went over it a little bit. Oh well, this is what happens when I try to rush this. All right, green. Okay. Gold. Okay. And I want to do bronze here. There we go. Okay, now we're back to the glitter. I'm going to do pink here. Here. There. Add in some blue. 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 Thanks, Chai. Your choice of colors are lovely. Aw, thank you, Wendy. Okay, yellow. 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 And just to recap, I'm using the Sleechy, the Pentel Sleechy metallic gel pens and the Arteza glitter gel pens. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lucy. I've really been enjoying it. I've really been enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. So we want to get up here too. So we're going to grab these. We're going to do blue. And you don't necessarily have to do the same color palette for gel pens as I'm doing either. You could always like just do it all one color if you wanted something, you know, a bit more subtle. Because this is definitely making it look like this page is made out of candy. <laughs> but that makes it fun, right? Okay, yellow, yellow yellow. We've got another little flower over here. We're going to grab our pink. Just like that. Aw, thanks, Pat. All right, then we're going to grab... Oh, well, Wendy, you and our friend Donna would get along great. Donna has a great eye for color. She's here in the evening streams uh, quite a bit. I'm checking things out on your Facebook. Oh, awesome, awesome, cats. What paper card are you using for this, please? Um, Wendy, I used a 45 pound uh, matte cardstock. I also have a 60 pound that I like, but honestly, if you're the heavier the cardstock you can go, the better for your, um, for doing these. I think it makes it uh, a lot easier. Plus, the heavier cardstock, then you could like do watercolor if you wanted to. But for me, this is just the 45 pound matte cardstock from Canon. Gold. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do pink glitter. And we'll do some pink glitter here. And we're gonna do pink glitter there and there. See, we're just kind of hopping all over the place with this now. And there and there. Okay, now let's grab our blue glitter. Hello, Victoria, you're catching us near the end. We're wrapping up our page here. We're using some gel pens for some embellishment and flourish. <laughs> and I'm trying really hard not to smear it. <laughs> there we go. And the yellow glitter. 
I think I'm in for a busy night on your Facebook page. There's a good chance, Wendy. Check out the files, Wendy. We've got loads of free color, you know, well, not loads. We got like a handful of free coloring downloads, but loads of coloring charts. Not to mention there's a ton of pages to browse through. And if you have any work in progress, you can feel free to post those. Thanks, Victoria. All right, now we're gonna use our blue, blue, blue. Okay. And our gold here. Home stretch, ladies, home stretch, we got this. All right, I'm gonna use the red gel pen here. Red there. Okay, and then I'm gonna use gold. They are, Lucy, thanks for asking. They are feeling much better. They are both back at school today. Thankfully, it was pretty pretty short-lived. I'm taking that as a good sign that they're building up some immunities, you know? And knock on wood, I think I might have skated out without catching this, but we'll see. We'll see what the week brings, but so far I'm feeling pretty positive about it. I suspected that maybe I was fighting off a little something because I was getting more headaches in the sinus area than usual. So, but if that's all I get from this, I am good with that. Aw, oh, thanks, Kat. Thanks, Kat. Yeah, I do love color. I am a big fan of color. <laughs> all right, let's use, um, no, you know, we're going to use the bronze here. Okay, we're going to use bronze here. How are we doing on time? 59. Oh, no, I got to go soon. The times are strict in the morning because I got to pick the kiddos up from school. But I can drag this out another couple minutes. I will finish this. I am determined. I am determined, determined, determined. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. When school's in session is when the sickness writes. Oh, exactly. You missed it. I feel like my sinus are... I know, right? Cross my fingers. Exactly. Yeah, Chai, it's exactly what it is. Kids are back in school. All kinds of new germs. My daughter came home the other day and she was just like, someone threw up at gym class. Apparently he spewed all over the floor and all I could think was great. Wonder when that's going to come home. And lo and behold, it came home shortly after. It's like, great. Thanks, kid and parent that sent your sick kid to school with my kid. <laughs> all those little blue flowers I'm keeping the same go Emily go I know right you got this I'm doing my best not to rush either because rush is when rushing is when I start to mess it up you know all right pink glitter pink glitter let's see let's do pink here almost there almost there I'm not ready for someone to get sick on my bus and have stuff to clean up but I have a weak stomach oh no chai so are you a, a school bus driver chai Go. Almost, almost. Just this last little section here, folks. Last little section. We almost got this. Well, that's got to make for some interesting days, Chai, to be sure. You are a stronger woman than I. <laughs> <laughs> I will, Chai. I will. <laughs> green, green, green. 11.01. All right. Home stretch. I do not want to leave today without finishing this. It's been such a long time coming. Pink. Pink. Okay. Then yellow. And yellow. And blue. Wait, what? Thank you, Kimmy. Yeah. You know, I was watching who Oh, it starts with a starts with a B. Who's the woman that does the who's the woman that does the um the giveaways all the time? Starts with a B. What is her name? I'm using bronze here, by the way. Uh anyway. But uh yes, I appreciate that, Kimmy. You're in your mod powers today. Um, I like 
what her, she has that standing, Belinda, Belinda, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, that's what we got our handy mod Kimmy for. Um, anyway, I, I was listening to her giveaway thing and I really like what she said about how the rule in her chat is like, we just don't engage and we let the mods handle. I really like that. So I think we'll make that a regular thing in a chat because I don't have it too much, but I do know there's some stuff floating around. Um, so I, I like that, uh, you know, the whole don't engage, just ignore and let the mods take care of it. By the way, folks, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we finished it. Did I miss anything? Does anybody see any blank spots I missed? Any circle? <gasps> I missed a circle. No. <laughs> Now, if I can do this without smearing anything. There we go. All right. Did we get it all? Did we get it all? 11.03. I think we're done. Yes, Kimmy. Thank you so much. I think we finished it, folks. It's done. It's done. It's done. I know, right? One little circle. One little circle. Is it in focus there? There we go. One little circle, but it's done! Yay! You know, Wendy, I think this one might need to because this was the first one that I drew from the How to Draw Inky Wonderlands and we set it out in the world and we got it all done. Look at that. I can't wait to take the picture of it a little bit later. It's so colorful. It literally just looks like candy. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this up because I got to go get my kiddo from school. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming to hang out. I am going to be live again Friday at uh, 830 p.m. Don't know what we're going to call her yet. I will keep you all posted. In fact, I will try to remember to make um, make an event in Facebook so everybody can keep up on that. But Friday, 830 p.m. Because today's what? Today's Wednesday, right? Yes. Friday, 8.30 p.m. We will be picking it up again and we're gonna have loads of fun. Maybe we can go ahead and draw those birds in Secret Garden and everything because I should have those no inking pens um, to, to go with that. So anyway, I'll post a picture later. Everybody have a wonderful, lovely, lovely day. Uh, follow Facebook, follow the Instagram and I will see you all on Friday, okay? And Pat, feel free to message me about the questions about Streamlabs. I will get to them a little bit later, all right? All right, love everyone so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all on Friday. Bye everyone.